Okay, now we're going to go over the register operations. Most basic function is your no sale. Your no sale button is right here. Just press it and that'll pop your drawer open. Now to ring in transactions, all your items are preset, so basically you're just going to locate the items on the keyboard. We're going to ring up a nacho and a pretzel. If you notice on the screen, they're displayed on the screen. It always keeps a running subtotal with taxes along the bottom. You could hit subtotal if you'd like. Your total is $5.94 with tax. Say they pay you $10, you can type in $10 and hit cash to finalize the transaction. It'll also go to the kitchen printer as well. I have a printer hooked up to show you how that'll function. Uh, to use your speed tender keys, now there's speed tender keys down here. What those are, those will allow you to finalize to five, ten, or twenty dollar tenders. So if we ring up a couple items, total comes eleven thirty four, and they pay us with twenty dollars in cash. You can hit the twenty dollar tender key, and that'll pop your door open and automatically issue the change back of eight sixty six. Uh, we also can do credit cards and checks if we ring up the order. Hit subtotal, you want to get a approval on your credit card machine first, but once you get an approval, you can finalize by credit card and that'll segregate your totals at the end of the day. It'll tell you how much you did in cash, credit cards, and checks then. Now we're going to do a check transaction, we'll ring up a couple items. Again, we subtotal it and finalize it to check and that'll allow you to do your checks then. Now the next thing I want to cover are your voids, cancels, and refunds. How they work, let's say we ring up a nachos and a super nachos and you notice that the nachos were, were, uh, were incorrect. What you do is you just highlight the, the nachos on the screen by just pressing it. Notice it goes blue. Hit void and it just takes it right off. Now you can re-ring the correct item in. We're going to go ahead and finalize that. Again, to do a void, if we ring up a couple items, we're going to ring up three pizzas and we want to take the cheese pizza off. We just highlight the cheese pizza and hit void. And then you can go ahead and go on with the transaction and finalize it. Now for cancels, let's say we ring up a few items and the customer forgot their money in the car and you don't want to wait for them to come back. Just go ahead and hit the cancel button and that'll cancel the transaction then. Now for refunds, refunds are generally occur if somebody's unhappy with something or if you're going to give money back. So what you're going to do is just hit refund and hit the item. Notice it's negative and highlighted and your total is negative, the balance. Finalize it to cash and that'll take that out of your drawer then. Now we also have item and subtotal discounts on here in case you ever do a, do a discount. Let's say we ring up a 6 inch pizza and we want to take 10% off on that. We could type in, at this point we could just type in 10 and hit the item discount and notice it drops down right below the item. So that's an item discount. Now let's say we want to uh, discount the entire transaction, say you have a party or something like that and you want to give them a discount on the transaction. We ring up the order, we hit subtotal. And say we're going to take a 10% discount, we type in 10 and hit the subtotal discount and notice it, it uh, decrements it by that amount as well. We also have a miscellaneous open key. That will allow you to ring in open amounts if it's not on the keyboard. So you just enter in the dollar amount and hit miscellaneous open and notice it will charge the tax and handle all that for you. Again, we're going to finalize it to cash. Now you also have a clerk button here. Uh, you are required to sign on a clerk if you turn the, if you physically turn the register off on the side to sign on a clerk sign off a clerk we go zero clerk and notice it says sign on required to sign on a clerk we hit one clerk and that signs us on and allows us to operate you may get this error if you don't sign on we, we're going to go ahead and sign off it'll say enter employee code right on the screen so you know what to do so you just hit clear type in one and hit the clerk number button so that's about it for your cash register operations.